Home means to me when you walk in the door and you can feel the love. That's what home means to me. That's a blessing to have a home to come to. Safe and affordable housing is important because it's a basic human need. Everyone should have a place to call home. My name is Alfreda. I'm 68 years old. I go to church on Sundays. I'm a true Washingtonian because I was born right here. I learned from early age that you got to work in order to have the things that you need for yourself and your family. My mom and dad are gone. My mother, she had breast cancer. I did not want my brothers to have to, because I'm the only girl, to, to, to do things for her that, you know, like bathe her and that kind of stuff like that. So I lived with her up until she passed. I don't want to be a burden to nobody or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I have, I'm very, very independent and I try to take care of myself as best as I can. At the time, I was so pressed for trying to find a place. I went northeast, southeast, more and more research demonstrates that link between quality affordable housing and individuals' health and well-being. And yet, we know that affordable housing is out of reach for many individuals and families. There's a lot of seniors in the District of Columbia where the gentrification in the neighborhood was slowly pushing them out because of higher rental uh, prices or higher taxes, where they couldn't even afford to pay the taxes for the property they own. Isolation among seniors is a big problem in this nation. They're more likely to be vulnerable to elder abuse, cognitive decline, and affects their, their physical and mental health overall. Seniors live longer, they're happier, and they enjoy their life when they're living in a place that they're familiar with. One day I drove down K Street and I saw this building. When I rolled into the parking lot and I looked up at the building, I don't know, I just had a feeling that came over me and it was a good feeling. So I pulled in the driveway, and the resident manager at that time name was Miss Allen, and I started crying and I told her about my situation. And she said, I got an apartment for you. Mission First's uh, purpose is to help individuals and families in need uh, find a safe, affordable place to go home. Today, we provide service-oriented affordable housing to nearly 4,000 residents, and more than 750 of them are seniors. We can provide opportunities for people to remain in their communities where they have lived their lives and built important connections. We don't want to see seniors being forced to move from their neighborhoods because there is no affordable housing for them available there. Mission First, partnered with the Mount Lebanon Community Development Corporation and Urban Matters. And our idea was to have senior housing where we could have a, a huge community space. We could have programming, training, wellness. So we came up with 82 senior citizen affordable housing. It starts at 55. And we have a 12,000 square feet community space. And we have a library and we have a computer center. We believe that just providing property management is not enough for these families. These families need supportive services. The programs that we provide to our seniors include health screenings, computer education classes, physical fitness, assisting them in obtaining part-time and full-time employment. Patrick has helped me get the job that I got now. Every week we have opportunities for our seniors to, to engage with one another. This is a wonderful place to live. It's like having a family living here with some people. At the end of the day, we are benefit and enriching the life of the people that we serve. As seniors are living longer, you have to be creative in your programming. You have to be creative in, in, in their personal needs, emotionally, uh, financially. Having experts in the field like Mission First, I think that the senior housing population and the senior housing 
availability in Washington, D.C. will grow tremendously. Earlier this year, we opened Visionary Square, uh, 47 units affordable senior housing development project in the historic Brentwood neighborhood of Northeast Washington, D.C. We're currently moving residents into Union Eagle Apartments in Bordentown, New Jersey. And here at the corner of 4th and K Streets in Washington, D.C., our largest development today, Plaza West, is coming out of the ground. We're going to continue to do our part to make sure that our parents and grandparents have a safe, quality place to call home on their later years. Living in Golden Rule Apartments make me feel blessed. I have tears in my eyes when I see people sleeping in the park or walking. They should have a home to go to. So that's why I'm so glad that I'm here.